you know so ladies and gentlemen like and share of course this issue of reparations now the pmp has made a statement to the the jlp about reparations so we're gonna play the audio and then after the audio we are going to my two cents about it you see me i deal with mm -hmm. Some warriors may have a clip when I want to listen to because the PNP came out and then released a statement. I want to listen good because when me tell you, no, say Andrew Owens not interested in a nothing because he's part of the Privy Council, so he's not interested in a no reparation. You hear me? Andrew Owens no care about the Jamaican people. So listen to this and then we elaborate on it. The unit. The best side hustle to do in 2024 is to get a fully remote online job that takes two hours a day to do. Reparation Now, the People's National Party urges government to state position on reparation. The People's National Party, PNP, calls upon the government of Jamaica to state its position on the planned objection of the Commonwealth leaders at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Samoa in relation to the UK stance on reparation to the nations which suffered from the transatlantic trafficking in enslaved Africans and the racialized system of chattel slavery by former European colonizers. It is known, it is a known fact that on this matter, the British like Prime Minister, like Sir Keir Starmer, who has been supported by his Chancellor Rachel Reeves, has indicated that there will be no such payment from Britain to any of its former colonies. This is in line with the postulations by former British Prime Minister David Cameron. This contrasted with King Charles III's declaration that Britain should seek atonement for its participation in the transatlantic trade and the Commonwealth heads of government who have indicated that this is a subject that they want to discuss while they meet in Samoa at the heads of government meeting. It is widely evident that during the over 400 year period Europeans have inflicted not only genocidal action on the region's indigenous communities, but according to scholars, they have created legal, financial, and fiscal pol pol policies necessary for the enslavement of Africans as in their national interest and post-emancipation a further 100 years of racial apartheid upon the emancipated. The PNP stands firm in our belief that the time for reparation is now and supports any discussion on reparation for Jamaica and our neighbors in the struggle who were affected by these horrendous injustices. It is a time that Britain and her European counterparts compensate those nations whose forefathers lost their freedom as a result of sheer raw business practice and greed. We call upon the government of Jamaica to state its position on the foregoing and to take the necessary steps to secure the interests of the mandate of the reparatory justice movement. The position would be in line with CARICOM's 10-point plan for reparatory justice in relation to this matter. We welcome any process that would lead to a common position of all nations that were involved as well as the complete as well as complete the atonement process as so eloquently put on. by the king. Additionally, Jamaica's silence has been deafening on this extremely important matter. There has been to date no clear outline policy which would dictate how we are to proceed if and when the discussion comes up at the heads of government meeting. We urge the government to follow the example of Bahamas, who has clearly put on record its position on the matter and support its CARICOM neighbors in their quest to seek justice in relation to this long outstanding situation. Visit our website at PN. Then my wisdom warriors. My wisdom warriors. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, so that's very interesting, you know. Um me really want to know what is the stance of the JLP where reparations is concerned. I really want to know, but but me go make um at half I press um put fear thoughts in and then me add mine. If Andrew Wallace did a show interest in a this, only things that PNP would and call them out, 
and you owners not showing no interest in an our reparation he not show no interest my wisdom warriors because he's part of the privy council so and you owners don't care and you owners is getting his millions he doesn't care about the people and this for sure no say no care you know sister and you know why make no stand why the pnp if you force them to go make make a stand this is why me tell you no. This is why me tell you no say Andrew Oneness is working for a corporation. And he is. Everybody know that. Uncle, uncle people when I do research no know that. This is why Andrew Oneness now go up against them. This is why he's not going up against the British, my wisdom warriors. It is a sad situation, you know. It is a sad situation. The PNP of your force the government. Because remember, you know, if you, remember the PNP can can do it. A government have to do it and government is not showing any interest because Andrew is part of the Privy Council and him a black every no that our excellent excellent point to start off ladies and gentlemen um big up Mary White in I place Miss Chicago blessings to um uh Lee Gris Beckford all I people them sassy D me soon you know but me I try to cut you all I have because I have a bag of video for react to um right now but yeah, upon this topic of reparations, ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't understand how we can serve the king and serve Jamaica at the same time being the by being the, the, the Prime Minister of Jamaica. I honestly don't. What happens when the Jamaicans' desires and interests don't align with the king? What if it's directly opposed to the king? And based off, and let me share it on the screen. I think I still have it. Based off the pledge that Andrew Ones took, ladies and gentlemen. Based off that pledge, I cannot see how under God green earth, Andrew Ones or anybody that's a Privy Council member can effectively, excuse me, be the leader of Jamaica and, and of Jamaica's best interest at heart. Ever you didn't talk about the corporation, ever you didn't talk about um private investors. Well, those people that are behind the scenes, what they want and what the and what the man on the ground want, the regular show, the Jamaicans will pay most I tax them anyway. It is not necessarily the same thing as a matter of fact. What we want and what they want in most cases is, is is in direct opposition of each other so with that conundrum with that conflict of interests right why in the world would anybody that is of a sound mind believe that andrew Oness, being a privy council member could have the jamaican people's best interests at heart and that is a question that i would love for somebody to answer I would love for any well-thinking Jamaican to put that and frame that for me for it to make sense how Andrew Ones could ever in any capacity still serving the king right have our best interests at heart and I'm open I'm really really open for for a solid answer where that is concerned I really am I am not closed off to the conversation because I think it would be so interesting. <laughs> I think it would be so interesting because I don't see, I don't see it. I, I really don't see it. And I'm, I'm trying to find this pledge to show you guys. And I, I know I have it on my computer, right? The pledge he took to become a Privy Council member, right? I mean, on, only God. He can't keep no secret from the, 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 the king. In, in can't keep secret from us, the Jamaican people. If, if there's anything confidential between him and the king, right? That might not benefit the people of Jamaica. He has no obligation based off what? Based off the actual pledge to disclose it with us. His pledge to his majesty trumps everything else. And I, that's why I want to find the pledge for the seed on YouTube. I've shown it many times. And I don't know where it's gone. The devil is a liar. Right? 
But yeah, being a Privy Council member and um and all of this, it's not going to work out. It just it just don't make any sense, ladies and gentlemen. And if, if you if if you think a lie me I tell, just look for the current state of Jamaica right now and tell me if it makes sense. Just the current state of Jamaica right now. If the proof is in the pudding. Pat W Wagwan mama. Bless up yourself. Wanna like and share the video guys. This one need to go viral. But let me know what you think about that. You know, um, this, should should the government take a stance where the Privy Council is concerned? And guys, please remember to like and share the video, guys. Please remember to like and share the video. We have over 100 people watching and I don't have 100 likes. I know I say some new people might be here. Action, what go on, my brother? Big up yourself, you know. Yeah, let me know what you think. And I know there's a lot of people that's not into reparations. But just come out on no, come out on no self for a minute. And think about what is best for everybody. The people, the people, Wagwan Jatora, bless up yourself. The people that brought us here, right? I mean I say all of us was brought here because some people in you know, them feelings both 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 um but but being called a, a, a farmer slave you know when it happened to every nation every nation went in a some form of slavery it's just that the transatlantic slave trade and the, the atrocities against our people was definitely and is definitely one of the most egregious as a matter of fact there's some places in africa right now that still are um you know, is 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 enduring worse than what the transatlantic slave trade, uh, that what what took place there. You feel me? I deal with. So, the the, the travesty continues. It's happening in Jamaica in the hotel industry. It's just a, it's just a um, a very sophisticated form of slave plantation. You feel me? I say. So yeah, let me know what to think. But me know want to think about that reparations. Uh, I would love to hear the stance of the Jamaica Labour Party on that. I mean, I want a word salad. I don't want any beating around the bush. I want a straightforward answer. Will we get it? I don't know. But still, I want to know what you guys think. All right.